Let's talk about liquid cylinders. Low pressure liquid cylinders often replace high pressure cylinders in many higher volume gas applications. Liquid cylinders are easier to handle. They are safer. And a liquid cylinder can hold more product, a lot more product. A single liquid cylinder has the same storage capacity as 15 to 20 high pressure cylinders. How is this even possible? The liquid cylinder stores product in a low pressure liquid state and converts it to a gas as needed. Liquid cylinders are extremely heavy and require the use of specially designed carts. The cart hooks into metal brackets on the side of the tank. This is the only proper way to move these cylinders. Never grab a cylinder by the neck ring to try and move it around. If a liquid cylinder does happen to fall over, do not attempt to lift it up yourself. Respect the cylinder and grab a couple friends to help you prop it back up. Liquid cylinders will vent from time to time. This is a normal function of the cylinder. Because of this, do not store liquid cylinders in a confined area. As the contents vent, they could displace the oxygen in the air, in a small closet for example. Now we will review the mechanics of a liquid cylinder. To help us understand how they function, let's listen to a real expert. Mike Sanford has over 30 years of experience working with industrial gases and liquid cylinders. The tanks look complex, but they're really not. There's a series of valves on the top. Each valve has its own use. Each valve is marked clearly with a metal ring. It will say gas use. You'll see liquid withdrawal use. There is a vent. We use that when filling. Obviously, the valves are self-explanatory. Gas use is for a customer that's using gases. The liquid use valve is for a customer that is pulling liquid off for, for one reason or another. The pressure building device should not be open until you're ready to start using it, and it should be opened approximately one hour before using the tank. It allows the cylinder to build the proper head pressure so that as you start to withdraw liquid or gas, for your usage, the proper head pressure will push down and relieve the product. When we ship the tanks to our customers, we have the pressure building devices are, and all the valves are in the off position. This is to keep the pressure as low as possible until the customer can start to use uh, the gas. So that if the pressure reaches uh, a certain point of the safety, the safety will open and the tank will weep and it will continue to weep until the pressure of the tank is reduced to below the pressure valve setting. The second thing is, is there is what we call a burst disc on each tank, and the burst disc is the last fail safe. The burst disc does not reseat. The burst disc will just burst and let the gas out of the tank before any permanent damage can happen or the tank becomes dangerous. The pressure valves set on uh, a liquid cylinder for gas usage are going to be about 350 psi. So if if you have a valve that is leaking or weeping, and you see that your pressure is over 350 on the tank, that is a normal function of the valve. It is doing exactly what it's supposed to do, and that valve will continue to weep until the pressure drops below the setting of the valve. So if you see that, you need to shut off the pressure builder and withdraw gas out of it for whatever the use uh, that you're using it for until it drops down and this valve will, will uh, recede. It will shut off once it gets below 350. As you're going to use the tank, if you're using it for liquid withdrawal, as pressure builds up in the tank with the pressure builder on, the reason that we do that is, is we have to build head pressure in order to push the liquid down and push the liquid up and out. And that allows us, if we had no head pressure on the tank at all, the liquid would just lay dormant and you wouldn't be able to withdraw. And the same on gas withdrawal. If I'm using a certain flow or a certain volume of gas, I need to know that I have head pressure building in the tank that will keep up with my gas usage to uh, my weld stations or whatever you're using the cylinder for. 
So that's why having the correct amount of head pressure in a tank is important to its function. But you need to make sure that you're using the tank. If you shut the tank down for a large uh, period of time or a weekend, you want to make sure that you turn the pressure builder off. That'll allow the tank to build pressure uh, at a minimal rate. And if it sets too long, it will still try to uh, vent. One common question would be, is my tank is frosting up uh, from the bottom up, is that normal? Do I have a problem? And as, as pressure builds and liquid starts to come through the tank for a gas usage, it goes through a series of vaporizers that go around the outside of the uh, skirt of the tank internally. And as, as that comes around, you have liquid that is starting to turn into vapor or gas. And so having some frost up when you're pulling gas product out of the tank, it's perfectly normal. If the tank ever starts to frost anywhere and you're not withdrawing liquid from it or a high volume of gas, that is something you're going to want to report to Purity. So if the tank is in usage and you're using it and the head pressure continues to be high and your, your safety is still weeping, uh, at that point, I would suggest that you call Purity Customer Service and report it and see what we can do to uh, possibly give advice on how to bring the head pressure down or send somebody out to, uh, to look at the tank. So the opposite effect for troubleshooting, if for some reason you're going to use your tank and the pressure is extremely low in the tank, that can be a problem for withdrawing liquid or gas from the, from the cylinder. So a few things to check. One, did I turn my pressure building valve on? And what is the pressure in the tank? Give it a few minutes, give it 30 minutes or so, see if the pressure comes up to where it's supposed to be. If the pressure does not, then you're gonna to wanna to check for leaks. You're gonna to wanna to check to see if you hear any gas that could be going anywhere other than uh, the, the lines. And if everything with the pressure builder on, you cannot get the pressure in the cylinder to come up, then I would report that to our customer service department. But in most cases, the pressure builder has been left off or the tank is uh, empty. If you see an ice ball forming on the top of your tank around your valves, again, listen for leaks. Uh, we need to determine if we have a safety that is, that is leaking, that is causing the ice ball, or even more importantly, we need to know if your withdrawal that you're using is too high for the size of the cylinder. And that's something that we can help with. So what I would do in this case, if I see it frozen or an ice ball, I would shut off the pressure builder and I would give the tank time to unthaw on its own. If you do not hear the safety continue to keep leaking. After that, if it continues, I would call and report it to uh, Purity's customer service department so that we can have somebody look at it and make sure that there's not a problem with the cylinder.